What's good YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual. Back with another bang of the day guys on a very, very special edition of Did You Sleep or Did You Keep? Let's get straight into it man. Let go. The reason why this is very special is because we actually got some sneakers releasing this week. We actually finally got some shoes releasing this week. Starting off tomorrow, we have the Jordan 7 Hair 2.0. The Jordan 7 Hair 2.0 will be releasing. The retail will be $250. I've talked about the shoe a little bit here and there, and I told you guys that I actually like this shoe. It is more, has more of a feminine color with the pink and all that, but I mean, man, Cameron told us that pink is good, man. You know what I'm saying? Cameron been popping pink for a minute. I, I don't got no problem with pink at the end of the day. But this shoe overall, I would like to have gotten this shoe to give you guys a review at least. But besides that, like, I, I I wouldn't get this in Rocket. But I definitely would have liked to review it, do on feed and everything. Who knows, when I got it in my hand, I might have switched my mind up a little bit. But these do represent, like, the Lola Bunny in my way. You know, and I'm looking forward to seeing if she does come out in Space Jam 2. I'm pretty sure she will. And uh, the Hair 2.0, man, tomorrow, 250 on Nike's sneakers app. To follow up, we have a Jordan 1 mid dropping in a multicolor colorway. This is a mid women's. This is $125. I actually like these a lot. A lot of different colors. A lot of Easter vibes going on. You guys do know that Easter this is Easter's this upcoming weekend, I believe. Let me just confirm that. Easter is on the 12th. Yes, yeah, so a lot of these colorways are, you know, these multi-colorways are symbolic to that of Easter. And I think the Jordan 7 hair even falls real good with the Easter. I mean, the bunny rabbit, you, you get the bunny, East, you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that's the main motion of everything. But these are dope. Ladies, check them out. Multicolor, Jordan 1 mid April 9th. On the 10th, Reebok is dropping another question mid called Respect My Shine. Now, these look just like the black toes that I believe recently released or about to release. The only difference is, is that these actually fade. They, they rub off. They turn from black to a gold. So Reebok is actually taking some, uh, I guess, some pointers from the SB series and Jordan brand, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, they, I don't think they were the first to do it, but they took something from that. And when you rub it off, it turns black to gold. I think this is pretty dope. I think a lot of you guys out there who are Reebok fans, AI fans, would definitely love this shoe. And me personally, I love this shoe. I like it. The black toe is nice overall, but I do like the fact that this might fade to a gold. Something a little different. I wouldn't mind seeing some questions that are actually white and gold. That might be pretty dope. But besides the point, these are releasing on April 10th, so keep your eyes peeled. The retail on these will be $140, so stay tuned. Also releasing on the 10th, we have the KD13 Hype. The retail on these are gonna be $160, and these give me that, uh, I would say, Versace type of feel, that, that 2 chains type of feel going on, you feel me? It looks like very chainy, Versace-like. Hype is the name of it. I think overall it's a cool, colorway um the kd13 the kd line in general has kind of been fading away from its aesthetic looks into more of a basketball sneaker and it is a basketball sneaker so nothing's against that but i just think that it's starting to be more and more less wearable to just the average casual person or maybe just the fact is that us as consumers have stopped wearing the basketball shoes in general it's kind of hard to tell i mean when you look back and you look at kd4s even kd5s um KD4 is especially something you can rock with. I could still grab a KD4 and actually make it look good on feet. You know, Kobe 6, Kobe 7, Kobe 8s. A lot of the Kobe's even before the 6s and down, you can rock. LeBron's, LeBron 1s are coming back now. You can actually rock those and they look good. LeBron 7s, they look good. But the more 17s, a little, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But the 9s and 10s, some of the best wearing shoes. I just feel like basketball. The sneakers, they got to get that aesthetic look back. They are very great basketball shoes, but as far as the aesthetics, we got to get back to that. And then this upcoming weekend, we have the Jordan 1 Court Purple. These are releasing on the 11th, guys. The review on this is live. Go and check the review out. I've dropped it. Magnificent shoe, in my opinion. I like it. I love it. And I'm going to keep them in my collection, believe it or not. You know, sometimes I'll let things go. Sometimes I'm going to keep it. I'm going to be keeping these in the collection. For the fact is, I don't have any purple ones, and I just want some purple ones and forgive me for that so stay tuned on that april 11th we finally are getting the jordan one court purple finally but other than that in elite news jordan brand has finally revealed its summer lineup collection and i wanted to break some of those down some of them we already talked about some of them already reviewed but let's go ahead and knock this out real quick first things first the jordan one court purple we just talked about that it's up april 11th Bam. Next up, we have the Jordan 1 tie-dye, which is supposedly a women's exclusive, more than likely women's exclusive to extended sizes. The release date on this is June 11th. 
And um, I'm just gonna tell y'all this, right? Soul Play has been told by Nike that they can sell, you know, their releases online all the way up till June 15th. So even a shoe like this will be available online. Um, that's just how serious things are and how further ahead Jordan Brand is looking. Because Jordan Brand isn't quick to give you, give if you are a, st a retail store, to allow you to sell online. You have to get a whole different account for that. But now they're allowing them to sell online due to the fact that they might not be able to be open. So stay tuned on that besides that point for the Court Purple as I will get information about whether or not or how they'll be doing the release for that. But yeah, the tie-dye Jordan, Jordan 11, uh, Jordan 1, June 11. You see how I mixed that up? That's how it works in my head. June 11, Jordan 11, it, it, it happens all the time. We did just get new images of the Jordan 4 metallic pack, and this is going to be releasing on May 16th. I believe all of them are releasing on May 16th. Supposedly, it, it was getting broken up, but I think this whole pack is going to be dropping as a one-piece unit May 16th. So stay tuned for that. I do love the team orange. The, uh, the colors are just... I think it's a court purple or metallic purple. Metallic green, metallic purple, metallic red, metallic orange. Call it what you want, man. I do like these. I definitely would probably be going after the green ones and maybe the orange ones. I'm not going to try to get all of them. But maybe I get all of them for the review sake. But besides that, I do like these. I, call it what, man, look, I got pure monies. I don't give a damn if they're all white. Some of y'all getting mad that we that we like this shoe. Y'all like it to pearly. Look, man, worry about your money, buddy. Don't worry about what we doing over here. If I want to buy 50 white and red, green, yellow fours, it's our money, buddy. Damn. I'll be pocket watching. Next up, we have the Rasta 4, April 16th. That's actually releasing this month. That's next week. That's next Saturday. Um, this is another women's exclusive, but more than likely in extended sizes, I would say. And uh, I'm going to try to get my hands on that if I can, man. I'm going to try to get my hands on that if I can and uh, give you guys a review. Little flaky when it comes to that one, but it is what it is. Fire Red 5, we have a review on that live now, April 25th this month. I like them. There is a couple things I don't like about it, but overall I like the shoe and I'm happy for the shoe, so it is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? It is what it is. It's funny that that's a meme now, and I've been saying that forever. I didn't create it. The Jordan 5 Top 3, this is June 2020, no set release date, but June 2020. And uh, yeah, I'm still seesawing on this one. I got to find out more. I just got to see more. But I think some of you guys will like it. Some of you guys will hate it. And I'm kind of right in the middle. The Jordan 7 Hair 2.0, which we just talked about. The Jordan 11 Low Concord. This is in women's exclusive. Uh, May 22nd on this one. I like this one. This one probably needed to extend in multiple sizes. I see court purple. I see purple being a big shoe, a big color this year. And I'm surprised that, well, we did have the Concords already. So there's not much they can do. But yeah. Jordan 11 Low Concord. And to follow that up on the 23rd, we have the Jordan 11 Low White Bread, which I've been, I, I think, I, I, I dig these a little bit. I dig them. They, 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 they clean. They clean. They clean. They clean. They clean. They got a little bit of weirdness to them, but I, th I think overall, when they're on my feet, I can make a maneuver. I mean, it's white and black and red. Some of the basic colors. Those are Atlanta Falcons colors, so... I know my man's Mike Rich and, you know, we, we got to represent, so it's, it's automatic. May 30th, we have the Jordan 13 Flint, which is probably the biggest shoe release so far this year because there hasn't, you know, this is, after that, I, I don't know what else we're really waiting on as far as the classics that are coming back. This is the sneaker. We've gotten pretty much everything else that we need throughout this year already, <laughs> uh, even though it's only been a couple months. Um, and even December was like a lot of classics as well. So, I mean, as far as classics, that's not saying that the rest of the year was just trash because there's more shoes we're going to talk about. But yeah, Flint 13, instant. News just hit that the 2001 exclusive Japan release is finally going to be making its way over here to America, supposedly this year. This is the Jordan 1 Mid, and this is like a Midnight Navy. Or actually, it's a Jordan 1 uh, Mid. It's a Jordan 1, but it has the Jordan tongue. With the, it's a Midnight Navy 1. You, you'll see. It's not a, It has the Jumpman on the tongue. I think it might have the Jumpman on the back, but it was a it was an exclusive back in the day in Japan. It's making its way here. Uh, the quality on it looks fabulous in my opinion, and I'm looking at the picture right now as we speak, and it's dope. I can't complain, and I love that. Hopefully, we get the little metal Jumpman, and I want that. I love Navy. I love Navy. You seen guys the Jordan One custom that was made out of all translucent materials like plastic. It's kind of cool, kind of kind of cool in its own way. I think Jordan Brand should definitely probably make something like that, but of, you know, like the plastic, what they do like with the Air Force Ones and all that. That shoe itself, if it's plastic, man, I was just, I, when I looked at it, I was just feeling pain in my Achilles heel. Like, you know when you get those shoes that are just too high up there, just be scratching the back of your heel or scratching the back of your, or the top of your foot? 
I, I felt the pain when I looked at that shoe. But it's definitely a dope, just, uh, you know, novelty in my opinion. And salute to the person that customized it. And then we have a solar orange Jordan 5 releasing later on this year, which is a little bit different, a little bit crazy. Uh, if this colorway comes out, it's an instant cop. Panties drop on the top when she's giving me bop nonstop. Solar orange. The bitches look clean. And then last but not least, the Off-White Jordan 5 has a release date set for the holiday season of 2020. So 2020, we get the Off-White 5s in all white and holiday season is what it is. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you for the continuous love and support. Go and follow me over on my podcast as well as my Twitch channel. Too Wild for TV is the podcast. Tony D Too Wild is the Twitch channel. I go live pretty much every day on one or the other. The links to those are down below in the description. I love you guys, and I will see you guys on the next video. It's your boy, Tony D Too Wild. Check it in. Check it out. Peace.